Hi, hi everyone. I, I just thought I'd make a, a, a quick update as to how things are going. Things have moved a, a, along a little bit in that I now managed to get my GP to a, agree to see, me, see us a movement specialist here in the UK which is real, really helpful and it's interesting the way it's come about really in that um, I, I yesterday I had a, um, a letter from the local council to say that they weren't going to issue me with a blue badge um, which we have in this country which enables you to park anywhere or virtually anywhere um, um, it's for disabled people and the reason really was that when I applied for it I hadn't yet received um, DLA which is a, a disability um, social security allowance um, and that would give me automatic rights so I, I'd had to rely on my my doctor had said uh, um, in the form that they sent to him and unfortunately the doctor that saw that did the form wasn't my normal doctor um, um, there are three doctors in the practice and uh, it wasn't the one who usually saw me who did it and he had phoned me and I told he said to me at the time is intermittent and I said no it's not intermittent it's all the time but he put intermittent on the form and so they rejected it so I was really fuming about this yesterday and um, uh, and anyhow I also had an appointment to see the nurse because I, I have hypertension and um, I needed to have the results from some blood tests I'd had done and uh, 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 my blood pressure taken um, and she took my blood pressure and it was 190 over 80 and she nearly freaked when she saw it and I told her that probably the reason was was because I was quite angry and upset really that, I, that again they had trivialised uh, how ill I, I, I am and anyhow we had a long chat and um, she was very very understanding um, took some notes and told the and I told her about um, another specialist that I'd I'd contacted in this country who's a movement disorder specialist. Now I am had managed to get to see someone who who who's based in Canada, but it, it's difficult in this country uh, for him to be able to authorize um, uh, to authorize um, uh, um, tests and things. So I, I I contacted someone in this country who's a movement specialist disorder specialist and also an ME specialist uh, and um, I'd asked for a private consultation and he told me it would be at least uh, 500 pounds just initial consultation and, and that's far beyond my means having been out of work for so so long um, so anyhow I, I told her about this consultant and she made a, a, a note to the to the GP and he phoned me back yesterday and said that he was going to refer me to this specialist in London, which is really quite good, because um, this guy um, in, in in London um, knows the guy in Canada, and so I'm hope, and he also knows that I've spoken to the guy in Canada, and I'm hoping that they might be able to liaise on some of the, the, the things. But that's really where where things are with me at the moment. I seem to be getting in, in worse in, in many ways, especially the movements. And last night I had a an awful evening where I was so the sound effects and all um, trying to watch TV um, I'm still very fortunate it hasn't happened when I'm out outside but um, it's um, <laughs> going to be embarrassing here I am doing a video for people on on YouTube but um, it, it, it won't be easy in, in a crowded place if that happens but anyhow I was thinking a little bit how how things were and I was sort of um, really dwelling as to where I am myself at this time and, and, and I, I, I remember the story um, of, um, from the scriptures and this might not mean anything to you who are Christians but who aren't Christians but um, it's a story in the scriptures where, where Jesus tells the disciples to go to the other side of the lake and he goes off to pray and then the, the, a storm starts and, and they see Jesus walking on the water and Peter said can, can I come and, and, and walk to you Lord and if you say can I come I'll come and the Lord said come and, he, and Peter got out of the boat and he started to, 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 to walk to the Lord but then he looked around and he saw the wind and the waves and he started to be frightened and he took his eyes off the Lord and started to sink and, and he cried out to the Lord and the Lord grabbed him by his hand pulled him up and they walked back to the boat together 
and, and that's I think sometimes me and I see the wind and the waves and all the problems around me and I sometimes feel as if I'm gonna gonna sink but I'm just so glad that his strong arm is there for me um, and that not only does he reach out and pull me back on, up but we walk to the we walk on water together and and that's that's about where i am i'm i'm, I'm so desperate that I'm, I'm to be healed in many ways but i know that through this process he's teaching me so many things and i'm meeting so many people who on the internet who are suffering things that i would have never experienced myself and, and I, i'm i consider myself bad but there are others that are worse worse off so Anyhow, that's me. Enough of my rambling. Just a quick update, just to let you know what 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 what's going on at the, the moment. Um, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.